Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have another project to share with you today. This is an accordion folio, which I've never done before and wanted to try it. Um, I got this tutorial from Gloria Stingles, or Singles, not sure if I'm saying that right, so I apologize. Um, but she has an amazing channel and I've actually had this pinned on, on my Pinterest board for years. She did it with a Graphic 45 collection and it was so cute. So. I thought I would try it. It measures uh, five, five by six, and it has a half inch spine on each side there. And I used the Authentiques Homestead Collection, and I used, um, I had a six by six pad, and then I did have a few sheets of the 12 by 12, and I used the cut aparts from the 12 by 12 collection, and then on this one, because I didn't have any like ephemera or um, embellishment, so I just fussy cut some things. I put them on cardstock and then fussy cut them out. So you could see here, I did that on the cover with the apples. And then I punched this out with a circle punch, layered it on top of a scallop punch, and then did another circle punch. And then again, fussy cut that out. I layered up the 3x4 card here. And then these are um, just some little wood chip, basically enamel dots, but they're wood. Um, so it looks like this here from Jelly Bean. What is it? Jelly Bean Soup. But I really like having some different um, things to work with. So this is what it looks like. So again, half inch spine. There's the back. I definitely will do this style again. It turned out really cute. I probably would do the spines maybe just like one eighth bigger because once you start putting things in here, it's gonna get really big and you'll see once I open this up, I had to add another magnet because it wasn't closing all the way, um, connecting with the other magnet I had in there. So you'll see there's another magnet under this one. And once I did everything inside, because I had did this first, which I probably should have just did it last so I can make sure the magnet was in the right place, I had to add another one because this was so full. But this is what it looks like. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, so again, I fussy cut this out, fussy cut this out. And always before I fussy cut, I glue them to um, a good piece of cardstock, like 80 pound cardstock. And then I fussy cut it out so it's just a little sturdier when you're pulling things in and out. But this is the fun part. So it's gonna be hard to get this all in frame, but pulls out like this. And I'll just show you real quick, then I'll go through the pages and like that. But I thought it was really fun. And then once I got done with this, I thought it'd be really cute to do a bigger style so that way you can do four by six photos or you could do five by seven photos on there. Um, so instead of five by six, I would probably do like a six by eight um, just so you can fit the photos. But again, just have a cut apart, made a little tag. This could be a photo mat or tag. And then on the side here, I just again cut this out of that paper, made a little tag to go in there, and then this opens, made a little pocket, added a, look how cute she is. This is uh, one of the um, actual um, design sheets and I just cut that up with the scraps that I had left. Again, just made a little tuck spot and this is, um, I think this is a Stampin' Up! mason jar punch that I used. And then it keeps going like that. Made a little side pocket. And again, just added photo mat. Do a three by four photo on the back of that. And I did um, ink all the edges with uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink Walnut Stain. And if you put it back, and I do try to when I, this is just me, but I try to do everything in a layout. So I like to make sure everything coordinates. So when I did this, I laid it out like this first. 
and then laid my papers to make sure if someone did have it open like that, it all kind of went together. But let's see, can you see all that? Yes, you can. So again, I just did a little, just a little booklet. And I'll tell you why I did that on this one because I meant for this to be a full pocket. <laughs> when I went to go put something in, I realized that I glued it all the way down. So now it's just a little tuck spot. And again, like I guess if you guys are watching my other videos, I do not hide that I make a mistake on every single project somehow, but there's always a way to make it work. So another little tuck spot. And again, you could do a three by four photo. Photos can go here and there. I love this little cow and sheep paper. And then again, just made a photo mat and a tag. You do some journaling on the back. And then added some paper on the corner there. Now I did have the back side is what I originally wanted. And when I flipped this over to glue, I liked these colors. So I probably, if I did this again, obviously I would turn the direction, but it still was cute. So I just left it. But um, that is the accordion, accordion polo, folio. So you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Oh, and the one thing that I did do that I changed in her tutorial, um, she does four of these. So they look like this, which is obviously totally fine. And she glues all four together and it still comes out to this shape here. Let's see if you guys can, if I can get that in frame. Um, but instead, I, I used two of these and then I took a piece that was a half inch wider on each side and just made those my um, hinge. So that way I wasn't using up so much paper. But if you did use all four, because I almost did it, you can glue them but only glue down three sides and then have a pocket. So um, just, you know, some ideas if you want to try something like that. But please check out her channel. Um, her tutorial is on there. It's really easy. She does great projects. But I thought it turned out really cute. So I hope that you guys like it. If so, please give me a thumbs up. I am just getting my YouTube channel going, so all the support is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so that you can see future projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.